Yes then guys, I am back yet again with another FIFA 23 squad builder. In this one, we're taking a deep dive into what I think could be the greatest 10k squad builder possible. I can't see it being any more than 10,000 coins. Let me know down below what you think. Subscribe if you're new around here on the road to 7k. Drop me a like if you enjoy, and let's get into the team. So I tried to use as many official ratings as possible. At the time I'm making this video, it is currently the 16th of September. So no, we don't have the full database as of yet. So there is one card in it, which is a predicted stat. But kicking the team off, we are heading into the Croatian League, and it is Livakovic. 82 overall last year, downgrade to an 80, but that is fine. That should help with the price, essentially, boys. And this man is so vital for chemistry. Croatia, I think it could be a fantastic alleyway into a nice little hybrid, a cheap hybrid early game. He looks decent. It's a goalkeeper. You want to save your coins mainly, especially if you've got a budget like 10,000 coins. You want to save majority of your coins for players further up the pitch. Now the centre backs, we are starting off with Mavropanos, the Greek man, ex-Arsenal boy. I saw him last year for Stuttgart. He looked decent. He was on loan at Stuttgart with an option to buy, I believe. Gets that move to the team fully and permanently and he's got a fantastic card to boot it. 80 plus pace on him. Fantastic physicals and defending stats. That's a great Bundesliga centre-back option. I reckon he may sneak under the radar as well, especially because the, the main favourites are like Upi Makano, Yellow Croix, etc. So maybe Mavra Parnas will kind of slide under the radar. Being Greek as well, a little bit harder to link in with the chemistry. But he is also very important for our chem in this team, as you will see a little bit later on. Centre-back number two. You see where I'm going with the Croatian boys, lads? It is Sotalo. Very solid. Gold common card, by the way. He's got the pace, defending stats. Should be really cheap. I mean, unless you're going for the Croatian boys, I don't know why a lot of people would be early doors unless you're rocking a cheap 10K squad. Then he should be affordable. Gold common, 75 euros. And he get packed a ton, boys. And looks decent, man. That centre-back jewelry looks fantastic. For cheap prices as well, boys, you can't really go wrong. Let's hope the cheap prices continue. A roof silly on. Now, a lot of people may rock a Mr. Quarter vibe at centre-back who gets himself a strong link to Roussillon on essentially to chem being a strong link uh, but this man's got a 76 overall gold common with the pace with the defending gonna get it packed a lot being a common card as well fantastic french option as well if you want to uh, basically go into a different alleyway with another hybrid using french cards but in this team gets the full chem does the job ticks all the boxes for me and at right back this one's a bit questionable i saw this man's card it's official stats he's got like a massive upgrade from his previous year's card and I thought, why not? Let's chuck him in. He's got the pace. He looks good. Essentially, when you've got a budget, pace is massively important. So that is what we look for in our fullbacks. But Gusto looks decent, man. I can't see him being a premium at all, being 75 overall. They have a decent chemistry style and you're absolutely dreaming. But this could be a, a, basically any card here. As long as they've got a nationality link or a league link, of course. Once the full database is out, we'll have a better idea of what cards are available. And of course, you can pick from there, boys. But Gusto is there for me. Now, a center mid option. We need a center mid who is basically a hard hitter. You know, he has the physical. He's got the defending stats. I don't want anyone who's going to get bullied in the middle of the park. So we are going for Endo. And no, he is not French. He is Japanese. I don't know why the card says he's French. I think I swapped the cards too quickly on FIFA rosters, which the website used to make the cards. Great website, by the way. FIFA rosters, if you want to make your own FIFA 23 cards. Endo is from Japan. All right, let's not hate on it too much. He is Japanese. Absolute beauty of a player. He doesn't really have the pace, unfortunately, but he's got great physicals defending, very well rounded with the passing, the shooting, the dribbling. And I feel like as that kind of like the glue in the middle, Drop an anchor on him. Boost the pace up if you've got an anchor chem start on a 10k budget. I don't know. Hopefully you get one and tradable from a pack or two. And uh, you'll be able to boost his pace up a little bit. He's going to be so solid in the centre of the park. And he is very, very nice for chemistry as well. Stuttgart Trio may be appearing in this team. We shall see. All right. Making our way up to the left midfield position. Completing the dynasty. Uh, which is the trio of Croatian boys. It is Orsic. I love this man. I think he's a baller. Every time I see him playing in Europe against Spurs, for example, he turns up, cooks him a little bit, bagging a hat trick, I believe it was not so many years ago. And a fantastic card, man. A little downgrade from last year. He's got the pace, got the shooting, brilliant dribbling stats as well. Non rare, which is going to help with the price tag. And I think Croatia could be a brilliant alleyway into cheap hybrids early doors. Get this trio. There is also a Cam who plays for the same team, Dynamo Zagreb, who looks pretty decent as well. If you feel like mixing it up that way but that is my uh, my croatian boys for this hybrid team on the right midfield position the stuttgart trio is complete and it is silas unfortunately this man last year had a big injury which ruled him out for the majority of the season if he was playing i'm sure this card would look a little bit better a little bit more impressive but he's a gold common five star skills 75 overall there may be a little bit of hype because you know danny aarons etc 
people are going to want to try Silas, but you should get packed a lot. The weight should be there. I can't see him being expensive at all, but the five star skills is nice. He looks decent with the pace, should offer a nice little outlet on the wing. He's got height as well, long dangly legs, so he's uh, hard to tackle and a fantastic starter card. Now the cams. This is the predicted stat, full disclaimer. This man last year was a 74 overall silver. Argentina, Cam, Atlanta, one man came to mind. I was so giddy, boys, because Moreno plays for the same team. My five-star skill baller from last year, Marcelino Moreno in the building. Oh, yes. Two chem, two players, happy days. Hopefully, Almada gets himself a 76, 77 gold rare. That'll be fantastic. They're basically carbon copies of each other. Both very small meta body types of the game. They got pace. They got dribbling. Moreno is five-star skills. Not too sure about Armada. But just a fantastic duo, man, for starter teams. I cannot wait to be trying these cards out. Especially if you want to watch, like, squad battles early doors. They're going to tear the squad battles defense apart. Trust me, lads. Fantastic. And cheap being in the MLS. I can't see him getting too much hype early doors. And now we need a man to finish off this team. And yeah, brace yourself because he looks unbelievable. Gold common with 95 pace. You heard that correctly, Becker. Tearing it up in the real world. Four goals, two assists. I believe he had a chance of player of the month. I, I voted for him myself, but I think Nkunku was in that and he's probably ended up winning it. You know the draw by now. Bundesliga player of the month. So basically a write-off if Nkunku is involved. But Becker looks great. Goal common. Suriname. Not too many options to link him up unless you're rocking a purely Bundesliga team. Not too many FC Union Berlin decent cards as well. But the looks of it. So two chem. Seems about right for me. And that is just, that will do. There may be a bit of curiosity with this card because of the pace people may want to pick him up but let's be real boys i can't see him maintaining price tags unless like a big youtuber comes in raves about him that may kind of boost it a little bit but for now i think becker will be cheap and affordable and this whole team will be under 10k coins let me know down below what you think about the team itself are there any other cheap beasts that you are aware of i saw someone mention livermento the other day he looks great as a starting fullback and also let me know your predicted price for this team i'm going eight to 10k in that price bracket lads Oh, it's going to be unbelievable. I think it's going to be my day one team just for squad battle grind uh, as soon as the game comes out. It's a little bit frustrating now that we've got the web app released along like six days in advance to the actual early access Ulm edition. These teams kind of, you know, by the time we get there, you may have more than 10k coins. But if you're starting at the same time, not really good on the web app, day one team right here, boys. Do not mess about, all right? Anyway, subscribe if you're new. Drop me a like if you enjoyed. I'll be more soon. I'll catch you later.